going to dribble between the legs. Now gives it to Scott. Scott pulls up, and he bangs home a three-pointer from the near wing left. Jeff Out is a big steals guy. Here's a pull-up jumper. That's rejected by Mustafa Farrakhan. Hudson missed it in a beauty of a pass from John Tell Evans. I don't know whether to score that an air ball or a turnover. It almost looked like a bad pass. Here's a pull-up three-point try. KT Harrell drains another one. Back-to-back -back long. I was impressed with some of our, our young guys. KT got us off to a really good start, scored some baskets for us. I thought Akeel did a good job, and even Will Regan in, in their limited minutes. Um, they gave us things that we needed, and, and Joe made a big three and did some good things. Akeel Mitchell for the Hoos. He passes out to Zaglinski, top of the arc, sends it down low. Mike Scott gets behind the defense of Allen and bangs it home off the window. Danny's got it top of the arc. Feeds it over to Harris. Works around a screen from Zaglinski. Puts it into the lane. Now the pass over to Scott. Fortunate to be controlled amidst three gray jerseys. He feeds it out to Harris. Fires one up for three, and he touches all net. Joe Harris is on the board, and the Cavaliers have stretched the lead to 11. Passes off to Zaglinski. Zaglinski sounds, sends down low. Mike Scott, turnaround, jumper in the lane, and it's perfect from 10 feet away. Last year, I don't think I was consistent at points at times, but, uh, you know, just trying to be more consistent. Shots not falling. Try to do other things. Uh, try to bring something else to the table. Mustafa trying to get hot. Drives baseline. Nice finger roll as he takes it down the right baseline and lays it in with a left hand. Next closest is 34 minutes. He's at 39.1. It is amazing. Here's a steal from Farrakhan. Steps in front of the pass. Takes it on the other side. Stuffs it down with a one-hand rim rocker as the Cavaliers have stretched the lead to 16. A couple big, huge blocks, steals, five assists, no turnovers drawn, making the next pass, uh, that's unselfishness, that's, that's, um, that's letting the game come, and especially after he had a monster game against Minnesota shooting the ball, what, what he uh, exhibited or what he showed was a, a great amount of poise and composure, and I was so happy for him because he, he um, I think he stepped up and, and did the job, and he was trying to talk to the team. The older guys were, were leading and talking a little more, and that was great. Free to get out to Evans. Evans takes it into the paint, now dishes it off. He finds Mike Scott, turns around, banks the shot, up and in off the window. He gets it off to Harris. Harris is going to have to force up a tough shot before he can get the shot off, though. He was had the ball stolen away by Delaney. He feeds ahead. Here's a rejection from Farrakhan as he blocks the shot from Dorenzo Hudson against the window. Scott on the far away left. Now to Farrakhan. Farrakhan. Staying with him. Delaney sends it down low. Mike Scott gets past the defense again of his buddy Jeff Allen and he'll lay it in off the window. Virginia with the ball now on the other side, leading 44 to 36. Mike Scott will pass it off to Harris. Harris dribbles with the left hand, feeds it off, pass deflected. It's going to be stolen by Hudson. Trying to feed it ahead. He'll give it to Delaney. Spots up from three. His shot no good. But the tip in is there as it's tapped right back up and in. 8.53 and counting now. Joe Harris has it on the far wing left, drives baseline, tries to take it up and under his reverse layup. is up and good off the window. Joe Harris showing the skill set again. Virginia Tech has lost two in a row. Virginia coming in off the win against Minnesota. Here's a pull-up jumper from 17. Eric Green shot no good. The rebound was fought for between Harris and Scott, and the Hokies come away with it. They knocked it away from each other. Now Davila feeds over to Allen. He stuffs it down with a two-hand champ. Our kids battled. And we were leaking oil down the stretch, but had enough to come up with a big stop and uh, make some big plays, which, um, you know, you need to do in a game like this. They were bound to make a run, and they did. Feeds it off. Farrakhan driving baseline, spinning around, defended by Green. Tries to pass it off down low. Asad Sen gets underneath the defense and lays it in off the window. 16 seconds to shoot, 235 to play. Delaney takes it top of the arc. Got to feed it near wing left. Allen thought about the three. Instead, takes it inside, kicks it out. Dorenzo Hudson from three, and it's good. He hits it from the far side. You felt like this guy was due. Virginia searching desperately for a field goal here, leading by two. Farrakhan lobs inside. Asad Sen gets behind the defense and lays it in off the window of all people. Most of the time back when I was younger, I would have probably wanted to force the issue a little bit, but I just let it come and just put trust in my teammates. Cavaliers have not trailed 19.4 seconds to go. It's going to be Evans to set it in. He's out there with Farrakhan. Mike Scott sends a pass ahead of the pack to Scott, and Scott was fouled from behind, and that's a clear path foul. An intentional foul on Jeff Allen. Mike Scott has done him not one better, but 
quite a bit better tonight. His free throw hangs on the rim and wouldn't go. Hokies have life. Five seconds to go. Here's a pass up the floor. Hudson launches from three. It's no good. Missed it short. Evans comes away with a rebound, and Virginia's getting out of Blacksburg with a win. I like the improvement. I knew after this stretch, hey, where are we at? Now we got a homestand. We've got to continue to improve and, and make the most of that. But I, I thought we, we've gained some ground uh, over the last six games and some uh, tough settings.